Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about the normal hemostasis or physiological, normal physiological hemostasis. In the last video we talked about hemorrhage. So just kind of a recap, if we have a blood vessel here, blood vessel, and we have, if you were to kind of cut the pipe down the center here, you'd see that there would be little cells here. And these cells are endothelial cells. And this layer is collectively called endothelium. Endothelium. And what happens if this endothelium or these endothelial cells are damaged, blood will start coming out, oozing out, and that is called hemorrhaging. So a natural continuation of the discussion of hemorrhage is hemostasis. Hemostasis means what? It means hemo is blood, stasis is stagnant, or still, stationary. Hemostasis is the stoppage, or you know, causing blood to stop leaking out from the blood vessel uh, after damage of the endothelium. So because you have these endothelial cells here, it's imperative that blood continues to flow down the pipe, down your blood vessels to get to the part um, that, you're, that needs to receive blood. And it, it's interesting because as this blood is flowing down this pipe, down this blood vessel, it needs to be nice and smooth. You know, this, this wall needs to be nice and slick and smooth, and it needs, there, you know, there can't be any problems in this pipe because blood needs to be constantly being delivered to the tissues. And we know that what happens when blood is not delivered to the tissues. So this endothelium is a very um, important layer, and let's just say, for example, you know, you have these endothelial cells here, and part of the in there all the way down here part of the a blood vessel there's there's little muscles that are on the outside of this um this blood vessel and they kind of they kind of wrap around like this and this is called smooth muscle smooth muscle and these, this smooth muscle is innervated through the nervous system. So nerves come to this uh, smooth muscle and, you know, can kind of con control the diameter of this, this blood vessels. You can imagine because it's a kind of a circular motion around this blood vessel, if this smooth muscle gets triggered by the nervous system to kind of constrict, well then it's going to come in like this, and it's going to impede blood flow. So in the process, in the in, let's say in the event that this these endothelial cells were damaged somehow by a, a bacteria got in and you know destroyed one of these, or you got a blunt trauma, you know you got hit on your, on the arm, or you know you crashed into something. Um, some of these blood vessel cells would be damaged and blood would start oozing out this way. Well, what's first going to happen is you're going to get a neurological response to that area. And what's going to happen is this, you know, let's just say right here that this smooth muscle got triggered by the nervous system to constrict down. So then now you know, the blood vessel would, would kind of come down like this. So, you know, these cells that are, you know, coming down this way through the, through the bloodstream, well, only this one's going to get, going to pass straight through. These two are going to get hit, and then they're going to kind of slide down this way, and that's going to cause restriction. Now, why that is important is because under these epithelial cells, there is, there is called uh, the subthelial or the subthelial, or it's, it's just the extracellular matrix the extracellular matrix and the extracellular matrix is really good at creating hemostasis 
and there's tons of chemicals and, and, and pathways that we're going to discuss, but I'm just trying to give like a general overview of, of hemostasis, normal physiological hemostasis. You know, this, this, this exposed, this is, now this is ECM here. Because this muscle cell, this smooth muscle, this is smooth muscle, smooth muscle, smooth muscle. This smooth muscle kind of constricted down here, and this is exposed ECM. So your extracellular matrix is exposed now, and your exposed ECM is very good at, at causing hemostasis. Now there's three there's three main factors in hemostasis. One is the cell wall. One is the cell wall, and we're going to talk about how the cell wall um, contributes to hemostasis. Two is platelets, platelets that are floating in your body and, or in your bloodstream, how those contribute to that. And then there's the the coagulation cascade. So these three things here, each will play a role in the process of hemostasis. And hemostasis' main idea, the main purpose of hemostasis is, is to prevent bleeding. So its main purpose is to prevent bleeding. So as this blood is flowing through these pipes here, your blood vessels, if this endothelial this endothelium gets damaged somehow, blood will naturally escape out into your tissues and cause bleeding and cause hemorrhaging as we discussed in the last video. So the main purpose of hemostasis is to create a covering here until these cells will be able to be able to respond and be able to regrow, to um, reinstate, if you will, this endothelial lining. And this, the smooth muscle by the nervous system contraction is one of the first things that happens. And you know, later this this is going to go back to normal, so this blood can re, can kind of regain its flow. But we're going to talk about in great detail this uh, process of hemostasis.